Folks, we're going to head out to the beach right now, specifically Jacksonville Beach. We've been saying it all morning long. Jacksonville, Atlantic, Neptune, all those beaches closed, closed until further notice. Let's get right out to Matthew Torres, who is standing by in that area now for us live. Hey, we actually just now uh, taking shelter. We're inside the Waffle House here in Jacksonville Beach. As you might know, there's a Waffle House index that's been used to uh, determine just how severe the weather is and knowing that this business is open with a lot of people here. That is certainly good news for the community and also good news for the mayor, uh, Chris Hoffman, who is with me right now. I know you've been uh, staying up to date with the uh, emergency officials. Uh, any updates you can provide to us uh, as far as Ian here at Jacksonville Beach? Sure. Um, thankfully, the storm has shifted off to the east a little bit more. Uh, we're still very concerned about storm surge uh, off our coastline uh, and we still expect a lot of a lot more rain and a lot more wind uh, through the rest of the day and night. So uh, we continue to ask people to as much as they can uh, stay off the roads, definitely stay off the beach, stay out of any body of water. We still have pretty dangerous conditions out there. Um, we have an emergency operations center here in Jacksonville Beach that is in constant communication uh, with, with the county emergency operations and with the National Weather Service. So we're trying to stay as up to date as possible. Um, the emergency operations center is staying on top of power outages, down trees, any kind of emergency that we can um, get ahead of through the night. We had a few outages here and there, uh, about nine or 10 down trees. So we're trying to um, stay on top of that, but that is also where our citizens can help us stay off the roads, let our emergency vehicles um, get through in order to get things um, back to normal as quickly as we can. And I do want to ask you, um, speaking of the beach, I know you were able to see for yourself just how high the water has gotten. Describe the dunes. Is it eroding? What's the condition like? Any concerns about that? Our dune system is very strong. We heard from the National Weather Service last night and today that they think our dune system will hold. Uh, we do have a few spots that are on um, drive out areas um, that we have fortified as much as we can. Uh, we're just getting to high tide um, right now uh, with the addition of storm surge. So we're keeping a close eye on everything there. Uh, so we've got a few more high tides to go during um, this cycle. So we're we're going to be really vigilant there. Um, we have pumps. Our public works officials are ready to do whatever we can to help in those areas. Perfect. Any other final words for your residents out there? Just be safe. Stay inside if you can um, and stay off the roadways as much as possible. Let our police, our public works and our beaches energy officials get through to make those needed repairs to get trees out of the road. They are doing a wonderful job around the clock uh, to keep things uh, as normal uh, and as safe for our citizens as they possibly can. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much, you. Chris. Uh, again, we'll be heading back out to the beach. As she said, this is now high tide. You saw it last hour. It was already up to the stairs, but certainly uh, it's still going to get uh, even worse at this hour at least. We'll send it back to the studio. Matthew, it's nice to see you inside nice and dry because we got mm -hmm. a little, you know, concerned earlier. You were right there as the waves really were just coming up there on the beach. And it's also nice to see Waffle House open because we all mm -hmm. know when Waffle House closes, that's you get when you a get out nervous. of there. Right? And people in Jack's Beach, they know that Waffle House well. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, I'm, exactly. it's good. When, uh, Go ahead. No, when I was talking to the mayor, uh, you know, she's like, you know, we have to tell people to stay off the roads. But luckily, though, uh, we are on the main road right now. It is pretty clear. But at the same time, at least people get their food, they get their, uh, you know, stay warm, stay cozy. And if anything, Waffle House can do that for these folks. And it is encouraging, Matthew, to hear her say that they do predict the dune system will hold throughout the storm, right? Correct. I know you were asking about that earlier, and just from our view, the water did reach the dunes, um, and so it was hard to tell just how much of it was being affected, but uh, while it has blown off part of it, but it's not to the extent that it's a huge concern, clearly, uh, for city officials right now. Matthew, have you had a, ta a chance to talk to the people around you and see how what they're thinking about this storm, if they're obviously not too nervous because they're in Waffle House, but how they feel overall about things? I think it's for them just uh, any other storm. It, to, me, to them, it seems to be a more of an attraction to at least go out to the beach. But right now, it, it's not seemingly too concerning, but they are aware of what they need to do, which is obviously uh, stay away from any uh, utility crews that might be working, which is uh, something that they have expressed. Uh, if anything, they just uh, want their time, want their food out here, want their coffee, and just uh, be able to stay cozy as much as possible. Thank you so much, Matthew. Yeah, you got to get your hash browns. All get right. you through the storm.